I was uh, down, uh, exposed with COVID-19 April the 23rd. From working with a resident, my experience with COVID-19 was very horrible. I couldn't breathe. I didn't have no taste buds. I didn't have a sense of smell. My chest was hurting. I shared the information and the news with my family. The look on my family face was very heartbroken. I have children and grandchildren that I had to also take care of. And my son came to me and said, Mom, don't worry, you got me. I couldn't breathe at night. I couldn't talk. My chest was hurting. I couldn't taste. I couldn't smell. And I looked at my family like, what am I gonna do? The only people that was by my side is the family here, 1199. Woo! They were by my side through it all, making sure I was okay, making sure if I needed anything, the business that I worked for didn't do any of that. They made sure when 14 days came, they called me, told me that they ready to terminate me. What I'm saying to everyone is be safe because this is real. Well, we're glad that you're back here. We are, mm -hmm. we are very thankful to see you and we thank you for your story. That was powerful. Yay! Thank you so much. All right. For our next speaker, my sister, this is Reba McKinney, and she's going to share something with you. And Reba McKinney is from Greenhouse, Baltimore City. Come on up, sister. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. My name is Reba McKinney. I'm a GNA from the Greenhouse Stadium Place in Baltimore City. And I also am an essential worker. At this time, you should be receiving a white rose and a purple ribbon. The white rose represents love, life, and dignity. The purple ribbon represents wisdom and strength. At this time, we are taking a moment of silence to honor the 1,300 frontline workers and nursing home residents that lost their lives to COVID-19.